In this lesson, we are going to look at some case study of special solids. Okay, guys, we know that solids has definite shape and definite volume. But there are some special solids that seems like they can be compressed, but they are still solid. And we are going to look at them in detail later on in the lesson. But guys, before we go into that, right, let me draw your attention to the setup here. I have a heart shape here and another heart shape. So I'm going to perform a magic trick. And guys, usually I only perform this to my wife. Right, I'm going to take one heart shape and I'm going to put it into my left hand. Okay, and the other one, I'm going to put it in my right hand. So now, can you, can you think of what is going to happen? Okay, but right, there's one heart shape here and one heart shape here. When I open my hand, da -da, it became two heart shapes on my right side. Now, I have this heart shape here and I have a small red ball here. So what am I going to do is that I'm going to combine them together and can you guess what is going to happen? Okay, they are going to have this 1 plus 1 equals to 3 effect and it became a big heart. And that's my heart, right? <laughs> okay, guys, uh, anyway, this is a magic trick. You can figure out how it works. Basically, it works uh, on the concept of matter. Okay, go ahead and think about it. And basically, all magicians, they make use of a lot of scientific concepts. Okay, so if you are good in your science, you can also be a good magician, just like Mr. O, right? Let's look at this question. We know that solid has a definite shape and also a definite volume. However, a sponge is a solid, but do you realize that when you squeeze the sponge, it actually becomes smaller? Okay, so why is this so? Does it tell you that uh, a sponge is actually not a uh, solid because it can be compressed? No, uh, guys. What is inside this sponge? If you squeeze, you find that there are air. If you put your hand near, okay, you can feel a little bit of wind actually gushing out. Because this sponge, it contains air spaces. Okay, so we can put it in. And when squeeze, the air inside this space, they actually escape. So the sponge became smaller, right? 